Huning Si is one of the eight splendid monasteries and temples that are located northeast of the Emperor's summer residence of Chengde in the Chinese province of Hebei. During the 18th century, Manchu Emperor Kangxi ordered the construction of the Great Palace and its surrounding eight outer temples. Originally, the residence was planned as a resting place due to its location on the route to the popular and distant Mulan hunting grounds. Chengde's political importance soon grew. Its eight outer temples were added later and date back to another emperor. During the second half of the 18th century, the Chinese emperor Qianlong brought much military and diplomatic success to his empire. Puning Si, the Temple of Universal Peace, was built between 1755 and 1758. The area was divided into two architecturally different sections. Because the temple was constructed during the time of an important military event, its facade conformed to traditional Chinese Han design. Its architecture was meant to symbolize China's power over the feared Mongolian Chungars. Artistic stonemasonry decorates the main hall of the Chinese section of which the stele describe the great victory over the Chungars' revolts in four languages. Beyond a hall that contains several extraordinary Buddhas, there is a collection of Tibetan-style buildings. The buildings were not merely symbolic, they also served as the domicile for various Mongolian envoys. A steep nine-meter high staircase leads up to the center of the Puning Si Temple. Military single-mindedness and diplomatic prowess distinguished Emperor Qianlong among all others. Thus, this structure naturally flattered the representatives of the Chungars. Even today, the magnificent Buddhist monastery and temple has a tranquil, dignified and solemn ambience. Emperor Qianlong, China became the mightiest and most prosperous nation in the world. For China, the 18th century marked the beginning of a golden age.
surprisingly, the impressive 37-metre-high Mahayana pavilion is made of wood. It is Puning Si's tallest building. The first Buddhist monastery in Tibet, Samye, served as the architectural model for the rear area. Unlike the Chinese section, its symbolism is entirely religious. The Mahayana pavilion represents the center of Buddhist religious belief, namely Sumeru Mountain. Thus, the five-story building is located in the middle of an architectural mandala. Several small halls and terraces surround the impressive pavilion that is one of the greatest examples of its kind. It attracts hordes of visitors. buildings in the Tibetan section of Puning Si possess a deeper significance with regard to their form, dimension and layout. China's immense wealth helped to create the splendid design and magnificence of Chengde's eight outer temples. During this time, great use was made of space. This temple covers an area of 33,000 square meters. Each one of the architectural elements that are situated close to the Mahayana pavilion adhere to the disciplined structure of the Buddhist universe. With his love of culture, Qian Long emulated his grandfather, Emperor Kangxi, who created Chengde's summer residence. The architect's desire to find a harmonious relationship between both nature and buildings are evident to the present day. In his lifetime, the last great Qing Emperor, Qianlong, created a monument unique to the world, the Eight Outer Temples. As is evident by the view to a picturesque hill, the location of Puning Si could not be more beautiful. For China, Qianlong's death meant the gradual decline of a golden shining era and also the beginning of China's uncertain future. <laughs>